So I'm sitting up here like Grand Pooba or something like that. Hmm. Just what it's like early. It's like four, four thirty in the morning, something like that. But I was getting stuff together because I had to move from one house to another. Get on my some some writings and stuff that I had or whatever. It's good together. So I came across this uh this binder here. This binder here. And I figured, oh, maybe my poem is in there. I'm looking for one specific poem. It's called I'm a Dancer. I really like it, but I can't find it. It's, I know it is at some place. But I was going through this stuff here. I'm going to on it. That's, that's the alarm that you know that nobody sets and so it keeps on going off like that. And so I came across some stuff here. I'm looking. And uh, first there's this thing. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a, a Black American Literature Forum, the Henry Dumas special. Yeah, I'm in here. I'll look for my name. You've got a lot of people in this one. Uh, Margaret Walker Alexander. Man, some names you might know. Think of Bocha. Uh, Jerome Brooks, Brooks, I like to say. Uh, uh, Sherman Fowler, uh, a lot of it, Tony Morrison, uh, uh, Eugene B. Raven, who puts this together. Uh, there I am, Anthony Sloan, uh, John A. Williams is in here, Camille Yarborough, uh, Maya Angelou, uh, Russ Atkins, Amir Baraka, uh, Gwendolyn Brooks, Jane Cortez. Van Cortez, we love us in Van Cortez. Great writer. Henry Cosby, uh, Ryan Hunter, William Halsey. Oh. Hey, I'm in, uh, Raymond Patterson. Oh. Quincy Troop. Wow. I'm in good company. I got published in good company. Okay, so let's put this away. I don't know this. Hey, I'm chilling, man. Uh, oh, here's the here's the excerpt from a Mystic Wind that that's published in that thing, in that thing, in that, in that uh, literary forum. And a brother used to have well, our brother still has some chops. Then I found this thing. This is kind of interesting. This is the poetry program that I mean, sometimes some some cool poetry program that they have. Found. But here's something interesting I have found. Uh, I can't, I, I can't really resist, uh, uh, Tony, people are going to say Tony because uh, my poetry name back in when I first started was Tony Sloan, then it became Tony Sloan 1971, then it, it became uh, uh, the poet Anthony, that's where I am now, the poet Anthony. <clears throat> Tony, today I reread them, today I understand them, today I see that you understand me, today I say thanks, today I I say, keep writing to and about me. Oh, uh, today I say you are said, uh, positive, something like that, capable, and something else. Today I am aware of you more than, uh, anyway, keep, oh, here, at the end here, it says something. Today, tomorrow, Friend, something. Thanks, Sharon. So, I must have wrote Sharon something. Just my little Sharon. Oh, oh, I wrote Sharon long poem. Do as any child will do. Remain a child until you become a child anew. Whoa. Hey, sometimes I had some lines. I had. What do you say these days? I had bars back in the day. Let me see. What is this? Let me see this one. Chase our favorite things. Around day, whatever. If they were worse than same action by Panthers. Oh, it's part of the play. Let's... Nina Simone singing Billy Holiday's Love Me or Leave Me. It's her Kenny's component set. Well, Today up on, on room two, today Kenny is propped up on his bed reading from a book. The bell rings, he answers. Oh, Kenny Phillip. What is this, Kenny Phillip? Jeanette Crystal. Oh, 
I know what this is. I know what this is. Crystal, you're so twisted and perverse, you no longer know how to deal with me. Jeanette, I think I really got caught up in that complex web you spin. Crystal, but look, this is Crystal Burns. Oh, okay. When I got into graduate school for playwriting, I got in a stand for two, two plays that I sent them. One was a, a piece that I did. It was adapted from a, an epic poem I had done uh, called, uh, the epic poem was The Interrogation of Haven. Or was, well, the epic poem was either, the epic poem was Haven or The Interrogation of Haven. But I made a play which was either called Haven or The Interrogation of Haven. So I put that along with this, this uh, four person play, it's a full play. Uh, was it two? No, it's a full play, uh, Crystal Burns. Oh boy. Oh, Crystal Burns is a monster play. Woo, my goodness. Anyway, that's that. Um, but before I did all that, before I went to graduate school, I started writing poetry. So here's a, here's a, I'm not gonna read all this, I'm just gonna do Echoes of the Sky, Anthony Chijan, uh, Rape of My Lover, LMS Jackson, a.k.a. the Cisco Kid, released today information regarding his secretary's pay. Like the rest of us, there was none. <laughs> uh, uh, today I wanted for so long to understand over the white man. Oh, today I wanted for so long to stand over the white man's shoulder as he opened his folder of deceitful lies. But why you chide him into forgetfulness, making him rectify his mess? Oh, now the, the furnace is on. Forgive the background sound. Need to be interrupted anyway. It's white man for him. You stood so long to correct those wrongs we know were self-created and can now be accurately dated. But how, if all you believe becomes so if all you believe comes from the bowels we wish to vanquish, the first act should be to deliver and free all of us now waiting for the prosperity our procrastinators hope to find in liberty. Oh, that's back then. This is this is the early this is the this is the early seventies. Yeah, this is the early seventies. Somewhere around there, mid seventies. It's, it's the seventies. Uh, so, uh, what is stowed in my heart is a glow upon your parts, the steady wavering of heat that warms and retreats you into I into I into you. It's a poem called uh, True Love. It's a longer poem. I'm not reading all the poems. Hey, copyright infringement. Except for this one, I like this one. I remember this one called Reading Reeking. Reading Reeking. I don't know if you can hear that, that furnace. I'll just let it go. That, that, that way it'll mess up if somebody wants to rip me off. Reading Rican. Seeing a Puerto Rican reading Reader's Digest today says something about basic rights anyway. Wish he could have read that epic poem, the one that's not yet, how you say, well known. Would have learnt an awful lot, because between those little known pages, of suffering from down under springs the revelations that can keep his soul from asunder. Oh, my Puerto Rican brother, reading about hard earned pay, why don't you look across this way? Why don't you see me and your future days? Oh! Writing under the name Tony Sloan. Walking the truth, seen under. I want to create. Oh, I like this one too. So something I like very short poem. This is short. I want to create beauty. Voices, soundless, yet so encompassing, you will have to embrace it. Wow. I have something that I uh, a book. I think a po book of poetry. No, no, no. It's uh, oh, it's my uh, it's my book on on on. Uh, it's my book on. Uh, audio drama, radio drama, and uh, I got a really famous poet. He built, uh, took a line from his life and asked me if he could use his show. And it was really a 
apropos. Liberation indeed. Liberation in, and the word deed, a rhyme of creed. Until he understands your glowing warmth assigned to men of gratitude, of, oh, your glowing warmth assigned to men of ingratitude and trembling fear and uncontrolled mist of tears. I'm just read the first stanza of these things. For Sharon and me, ah, that was the thing of Sharon, because this is the same Sharon. For Sharon, it looks like it's Sharon. A lot of girls and girls from back in the day. I wrote, I wrote women poems, well, girls, poems all the time. Foreshadowing. It matters not the thought. We've never had dreams of us before. For you, oh, okay, let me start it over. It matters not the thought. We've never had dreams of us before. For, you see, thoughts are just passing embryo of which life is either born or destroyed. To let it be, no, anyway. not a bad line, not a bad line. Lines, talk about lines, lines, don't call lines. The umbilical cord in line with family for medicine, in line with family for welfare food, in line at school, in order of height, in line at school for a spelling bee, incorrect the second round. In a line of nine others hanging from the back of a bus at 142nd Street by Safeway going to 147th Street by Sloan Supermarket. Information at Cadet Corps meetings in Fraternal Line. I oh, mean, some of the stuff is really good, I think. Home to a life force. Oh, for Eric. Oh, home for Eric. Eric's my son. There is a courage you transcend, acquisitive amen. Where all things continuing pass through what you bring, joy and smiles and the challenge of things that beguile. Unlock them for us. Make them what we'll see to trust. Make it right for a lot. Not a bad poem to my son. A thief. First moments, a thief. It's been called a thief. I don't know. Um, Coming uh, of the dove. Coming of the dove. Sounds too fast. I want to do that one. Anthropopath. Anthropop. Anthropo. Anthropopathism. Anthropopathism. I always wanted to be close to my beginnings. See me clearly when I speak the truth of my biggest sect to my blue experience among the plaster. Complicated poem. I remember that poem. It's a complicated poem. It's a it's a heavy, heavy, heavy poem. Life like I pray only for a father and grandfather and my brothers, one who is right now enslaved for real. Whoa. Yeah, it's a heavy poem. Heavy, heavy, heavy. What is this poem? The priestess Mo and me Mo and me. I don't remember that. Uh, if it is real, all those things bring me to here to be of a wonderful brother. You are what prize? All the suggestions of LMR. I think that's Linda Marie Redwell, a business partner. Death, let's go. Oh, death, let's go. How? Oh. Nah, it's so very near, so always by here. Get your death here. It's set so near, your death here. It's always like, just like when you walk the streets alone, whistling the security song, which to employ the coolest means possible. Blah, 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 blah. Another bone for jam. Uh, let's see. The black that is cold warms my renegade soul. It speaks all so clearly, wanting in this time not another, what few others hold dearly. Pause. Truth, in an essence, so immense as to calculate 
the smelter. Oh, baby. I, I remember this poem too. I remember when I wrote it. I remember what, why I wrote it. Oh, baby. Why is it that's the way it's got to be? Why can't you take me, take all of me? Why, why you got to get hung up on one part of me? I mean, I'm like TV. If you don't like what you see, switch to another selection or find the other knees. I like that phrase. Oh, baby, you know how black people talk. How black people talk. Oh, baby, I was the only kid. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh. Hey, one of the best things in the world, in, in every era, is to be a black man. And the best in this epoch is to be a, is to be an American black man. I'm just saying. Bernadette my Marie. Woo, Bernadette Marie Clark. Can't do her, man. Harmonize. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to read. Harmonize. She had, she had really nice eyes. And I, 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 I see, the whole thing about a thing, I mean, I don't know what it is, but I actually should have married, well, whatever, whatever it is. But Linda, you know, but she had too many, she had these, she had rules. She was, we were like a really good couple. It's like, <coughs> excuse me. I must be the dust with this <coughs> volume these twice. Anyway, let me not talk about that. I don't understand. A lot of times I like the layout. I like the layout of home on the page. I just like the layout. Sometimes I ain't care what it said, just the layout. It would be so sweet to die in the arms of my lover. Tears from Mrs. White. I sort of remember that from me. Kiss it. To love is to be very warm. The hope is that it will never be gone. But alas, as in the past, my heart stays almost frozen. Hey, look. <laughs> cry for another, uh, cry for another, oh, cry for lost tears, but never claim those lost fears. Mm. Love conquering all. Oh, it's interesting to look at. Love poems, but maybe it's, I don't know what it is. I wrote a lot of political poems, more political poems than did love, love poems, or social poems, whatever they did love poems. As contradiction looms, poem for life day number 28. Oh, this is interesting. 1978, that would be life day number 28. Let's see what he says here. You used to be scutter, scattered, oh. Oh, it used to be scattered, forming an intangible whole, making what is what ought to be, thereby releasing a need no one other could see in a sea of unharmony. It was uh, on, a, 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 a birthday poem. I wrote poems for all occasions. Uh, common free, tears of only joy. This breeze that freezes, oh, this breeze that free, that freeze sends first a tense, then an ease of what we need, pause. Your oneness with life, our power so bright, radiates this universe, pause. This air of beauty, what is, what you share truly with, the, with those things new, those things of you, pause, comma, tears. Things happy, yes, things of happiness. Yes, poetry, I love poetry. Could it be the missing, oh, did, well, could it be the missing E in my truly is really the love I now can never see? Could it be the E and love will someday come back to me? So I, I, I opened this thing up because I was looking for a poem. I'm looking for this poem called I'm a Dancer. It's like my, it's like, well, it's a signature poem. I just like the poem. I really like it. Oh, a poem. Africa, I'm sorry, African dash the same. Come catch me where gossamer floats in air. Certainty knows no fear. My concern is care and love is the four-lettered word meaning that pleasure beyond that pain. Where you nor I need claim anything further than our true name. Good poem on Africa.
the duty of Janine, another one of my lovers. Uh, Ode to Two Bluesmen. Uh, Sunshine Spirits. Oh, that's the song. That's the song we wrote. Um, James Spaulding did the, did the lyrics. Um, what's, that, what's that brother's name? Did the, did the arrangement? I did the I did the words. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, here's a poem. After effects of non interruptus. Ready for this one? She. Well, let me. I can have to show you what it looks like first. So it looks like this. Okay. okay. She told me not to. I did. Now she seems angry. I want to cry. She says I meant to. I don't believe I did. She won't kiss me good morning. And I know my day is going to be like what I did. Shot. Oh. Come on, give it to what was I read under that? Tony Sloan, nineteen seventy one. Give it to him. Nineteen seventy one. To me, I started writing poetry. Don't know where this is in the late seventies. Oh, come on now, that's a good one. The doggy. If all men are dogs, and you insist on being the whore of the fog, does that make you a doggy? That's the first stanza. I won't go any further because I don't want you know. They have wokeness, you know, people might cancel me for, for one stanza. Lotus Crystals. I think I know what this, who this was for. Okay. Ah! Oh. This is one of my, uh, I guess you'd call it master poems. Let me do this last. Yeah, let me, let me stop here because I'm going to at least get this. I got a poem here called Pack them in, Stack them in, Pass them out, Stash them out. Let me know that the boss don't know. And if he knew, he would know what to do, doing what comes naturally to you and me, doing the historically. It was my end. Oh, that's, that was Tony Sloan floating. I had another face called floating. Then we have a poem, Master, Masturbation Not for Creation. But let's, let's go. I want this to be the last one I did. This is a, this is a poem that I particularly, this is a really... One of my, what I call master poems. See, it's two pages. See, see how it's laid out there? Okay, then we're going to stop that. Page. Now, I'm not going to read it like I would read it because, well, it's I Am a 60s Poem is the name of the poem. I Am a 60s Poem, and then it has a, a bracket. Delivered facetiously. So you have to deliver it in that 60s thing. Not only that, when you deliver the poem, <laughs> when you deliver the poem, but I deliver the poem, I do, do this long introduction because back then in the 60s, the the introduction to the poem was usually longer than the poem. You know what I mean? It was just hilarious. All right. Okay, here we go. I am a 60s poem. Delivered facetiously. I am a 60s poem, grown not at home, but in the basement of ghetto cellars, torn down, but never, never reaching inside me, because if urban renewal, Negro remover could, would come that far, I would blow its motherfucking head off. Off, off, off the pig who bites the hand that, that gives him reason for armament. I am a 60s poem. Held up in this twisted shack with the scurrying, hurrying, but no ro no worrying roaches, brick-eating rats and cats that, that, that can't make a dime, but while on high, get by with a couple of hundred or two they grabbed from you who was was about to take your woman, 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 beautiful black woman. Where would you like to go from here, beautiful black, black, super black sister? What is the measure you wish your man to live up to, 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 to be me? I am a 60s poem. I rode to get busted. Sat to get mustard, walk to get usted, sang to get trusted, prayed to get upted, and slept white to get lusted. I am a 60s poem. Played train, knew my true name, then grew to my African saying. Had not much use for rhyme, cause it took two, 
much of the revolution's time, time, time won't nothing to me, won't nothing in me, won't nothing, 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 but the freeze on a polar bear's ass coming to bypass the last rendezvous of the black man's destruction. I am a 60s poem. Man that I am, old, young, new, used object, but never, but not too, or a total fool. I seem to be within my identity defined, I thought, by my ancestry, but brought to market by the highest American bidder, Meglo maniac money could buy. I am a 60s poem serving the street rhythms pounded towards flights of air by the drum for purposes other than employment or enjoyment or allergic condition or finished position found to be anything of the middle class. I am a 60s poem, but before my last breath I come to confess the cycled madness of it all. Woo! Wow. I mean, I got so much poems. My, my, my best friend has it in St. Louis. He's threatening to publish feminists. I think I'm, when I come back from Africa, I'll make a trip there and I'll bring this bar up there. I, I gotta find my poem. There's a poem called I'm a Dancer. I am a Dancer. That's the poem I was looking for. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Or maybe uh, blue light's coming up. Maybe I'll do a, a instagram -y, whatever. Behind the scenes making up. Who knows, all right? So, no. Just know that. You have been listening to the style writings of me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.